الرحیم ربش راہلی صدری ویسر علی عمری واہل العدتم من لسانی یک قولی سورت الطلا دس از سورہ نمبر 65 دس از ا مدنی سورہ اینڈ اٹس ا شارٹ سورہ دو لائک مدنی سورہ موسٹ اف دا ٹائم اٹس لانگر بٹ دس از ا شارٹ سورہ اینڈ ہیئر ویل سی دا آیا نمبر 1 یا ایھا النبی یا ایھا النبی او یو دا نبی مینز پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اذا طلقتم النساء فطلقهن لعدتهن اذا بن طلقتم یو اول گیو طلاق اور ڈیورسڈ ان نساء دا وومن فطلقوهن اٹس فرام طلاق طالام قاف طلاق من سپریشن ہیئر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ڈیورس لعدتهن عین دال دال عدد and here there is the let prescribe periods we'll go in the detail when we see the tafsir wa ahsaw wa ahsaw it's from hisn and that you all count iddata ain dal dal idda numbered but taqullaha you all uh, adopt taqwa be conscious of allah rabbakum your rabb la tukhriju hunna la do not Tukhriju is from kharaja, kharaja, you expel or turn out them. Min from buyutihinna, buyut is from bait, bayata, their homes. Wala, should not, yakhrujna, they female go out illa, except on that, yatina, they female come or bring. Bi fahisha din, fahisha is indecency. immorality uh, immorality or adultery indecency mubayyana is one open or clear wa and tilka that those hudud are limits allahi allah wa may whoever yata adda transgress is from ain dal dal hudud limits allahi allah faqad so in fact zalama he wrong nafsahu his own self لا نوٹ تدری یو نو لا اللہ پرہاپس اللہ اللہ یہ دیسو ہی ول اوریجنیٹ اور میکس بعد آفٹر زیلکا دیٹ امرن ا میٹر سو لیٹ سی دا رننگ ٹرانسلیشن بیکاز آئی ڈیڈ ورڈ ٹو ورڈ ہیئر اینڈ آئی ایم گو نو ایکسپلین فیو ورڈس ان شاء اللہ وین وی گو ان دا ڈیٹیل او پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم وین یو ڈیوس وومین ڈیوس دیم ایٹ دیئر ایتا count their idda and have taqwa of allah your lord and turn them not out of their homes nor shall they leave except in the two cases they are guilty of faisha mubayyina and those are the set limits of allah and whoever transgress the set limits of allah then indeed he has wronged himself you know not it may be that allah will afterward bring some new things to pass so here except the exception is fahisha mubayyina clear open uh, indecency there is a period during which divorced women remain in their homes here the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was addressed first in this ayah to honor him even though his umma is also being addressed in allah's statement ya ayuhan nabi iza talaqtumun nisa fatallaqihunna li idda iddatihinna o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you divorce women divorce them at their idda al bukhari recorded that like uh, divorced uh, divorce his wife during the lifetime of allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam while she was menstruating umar bin khattab mentioned that allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam became angry and said order him to take her back you know somebody um, divorced when she was in menstrual cycle so um, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered to take her back and keep her until she is clean until she is tuhur from her menses if you like you know her period is complete then to wait until she gets her next period and becomes clean again then if he wills or wishes to divorce her he can divorce her when she is clean from her menses before he has um, 
intimacy both husband and wife you understand like you know only divorce you can give when woman is clean and pure but what if she is in men- menstrual cycle so you can't until unless she gets pure and clean and ha- like she is ready to have the relationship but this is the idda which allah the exalted and most honored has fixed bukhari recorded this hadith in several parts of sahih muslim collected that this is the idda which allah has fixed for the woman being divorced in this sahih muslim recorded which is a more appropriate version from narration of ibn jurair who said inform he that he heard abdur rahman bin ayman the freed slave of azza questioning Ab- uh, abdullah bin umar and abu zubair heard the question what about a man who divorces his wife while she is still on her period abdullah answered during the time of uh, allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam abdullah bin umar divorced his wife who abdullah bin umar divorced his wife who has menstruating in the lifetime of allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam so allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam li yarji aha let him take her back okay so she returned and he sallallahu alaihi wasallam said iza tahurat fatallaqihinna aw yamsik then she is pure then either divorce or keep her okay these are the two things abdullah bin umar said allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam recited this aya ya ayyuhan nabi iza tallaqtumun nisa fatallaqahunna fi qabli iddatihin O Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when you divorce women divorce them at their idda and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud commented on Allah's statement fatallihunna li iddatihin divorce them at their idda he said purity without having relationship similar was reported from ibn Umar ata and Muqtil bin Haya It is also reported from Ikrama and Ad-Dahak Ali bin Abi Tala reported from Ibn Abbas about this ayat fatallihunna li iddatihin divorce them at their idda He does not divorce her while she is on her period nor while she is pure if he has had relationship you know they had intimacy and soon after you don't know whether she is pregnant or not so you can't divorce that time until unless she get the period and she gets herself clean during the period rather he leaves her until she has a period and after the period then he divorces her once okay i hope you understand and ikrama said about fatallihunna li iddatihin divorce them at their idda the idda is made of cleanliness and menstrual period so he divorced her while it was it is clear that she is pregnant what if she is pregnant and uh, or he does not due to have a um, relationship since he does not know if she is pregnant or not this is why the scholar said that there are two types of divorce one that conforms to the sunna and another innovated okay the divorce that conforms to sunna is one where the husband pronounces one divorce to the wife okay husband pronounces divorce to one to his wife when she is not having her period and without having relationship with her after the period one could divorce his wife when it is clear that she is pregnant as for the innovated divorce it occurs when one divorces his wife when she is having her period or afterward menses ends as having the relationship with her and divorced her the other one is innovation the first one you know if you are sure that you had relationship and she didn't get the period you can't like after her period she is clean and you don't have relationship with her then you can divorce her and there is a third type of uh, uh, so here the second one is the uh, we have seen the innovative 
and uh, there is a third type of divorce which is neither a sunna nor an innovation where uh, not an innovation where one divorce a young wife who has not begun to have period the wife who is beyond the age of having period and divorcing one's wife before the marriage was consummated you know they don't have relationship they, they, the marriage was not consummated and the count their idda meaning count for it and known its beginning and the end for the for sure know how much is beginning and end so that the idda does not become prolonged for the woman she cannot get married again and uh, here fattaqullaha rabbakum and have taqwa for allah your lord in this matter spending and housing is up to the husband during the revocable idda period revocable okay so allah said la tukhriju hunna min buyutihinna wa la yakhrujna and turn them not out of their homes nor shall they leave like not the man should tell them oh go out now you can't stay here and you are no more part of this not not seeing this and also here we see and turn not out of their homes nor shall they leave meaning during the idda she has the right okay uh, to housing from her husband as long as the idda period continues you know uh, he said three times talaq and uh, she don't have to leave the home she can still stay there in the husband's home the husband does not have the right to force her out of her house nor is she allowed to leave his house because she is still tied to the marriage contract how come because here you see after saying three thrice it doesn't mean she has to leave the home okay and she has the right to stay until unless three menstrual period and this is the first month and here illa an yatina bi fahishatin mubayyina this is the exception what is the exception if except in case they are guilty of fahisha mubayyina meaning that the divorced wife is not to abandon her husband house unless she committed fahisha mubayyina in which case she vacate her husband's house for example adultery fahisha mubayyina is adultery according to abdullah bin masud ibn abbas said bin musayyib here uh, it narrates that fahisha mubayyina implies disobeying her husband openly okay disobeying her husband openly or then she abuses her husband's family in words and actions okay remember these two points it's very important first point was disobeying her husband openly okay this is the point and the second is abuses her husband not only that and also in words and actions we have to remember that and according to ubay bin kaab ibn abbas ikram and others allah statement wa tilka hudud allah and those are the set limits of allah means these are from his legislation and prohibitions and wa man yata'adda hudud allah and whoever transgresses the set limits of allah meaning whoever violates these limits transgress them and implements anything else besides them faqad zalama nafsa then indeed he has wrong himself by doing so so what is it first of all has the right to do tala but when you do ju- just see the aya again because we we have to understand this first aya then only you can get to know what tala is first of the uh, first of all tala means separation and here when we talk about ya ayyuhan nabi this hukum has been given order to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam iza talaqtumun nisa if you and the believers not only prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also believers divorce your wife fatallihuhunna divorce them li iddatihin fa ahsu idda wattaqullaha and the end of their prescribed periods and count their prescribed periods accurately how is it 
when you give divorce make sure she is not in period and after having period make sure that you husband and wife don't have relationship again and then you can give count their prescribed period accurately correctly you have to count 3 months 3 menstrual cycles watta kullaha rabbakum and fear allah your rab لا تخرجوهن من بيوتهن ولا يخرجن do not expel them you can't expel them from the homes during their wedding see لا تخرجنا من بيوتهن ولا يخرجن nor they themselves should leave even women you know they feel oh no no matter what i'm leaving because he said divorce divorce three times now i'm leaving الا ان يعطينا بفاحشه fahishatin mubayyina this is the only exception husband can force that you have to go from my home and women also you have to note wala yukhrijna she can't go out unless unless this is the exception if she is doing indecency adultery in that one is the open adultery like she is having relationship with another person or any hidden or secret relationship or anything which is out of wedlocks and the other thing which we have seen in the hadith like either she is publicly humiliating husband or she is belittling and humiliating husband and their people that is the fahisha mubayyina and watilka hudud allah these are the limits of allah وَمَنْ يَتَعَدَّ حُدُودَ اللَّهِ And whoever transgress the limits فَقَدْ زَلَمَ نَفْسَ And what are the limits who, who transgress? Means, you know, like only after she cleans, you can divorce her. But you are divorcing three times in one go and you are saying, okay, you have to go out. This is the limit of Allah. You can't do that. Because Rasulullah ﷺ clearly said, no matter you give 1000 talaq in one go it is counted one but some people like uh, this is uh, the one kind which reconciling is possible and this is the thing but some people they count the uh, irrevocable talaq in which they said like three talaqs in one go is three talaq and they don't reconcile it and they consider it all the three tala and after three months they divorce each other they don't reconcile but that's not the stronger opinion the stronger opinion is no matter you give thousand tala in one time but still consider one the second month second third month third those who are in period zalama nafsa and what the people is doing zulm injustice like this is the thing like and the other thing you are taking expelling out of the home like only exception is if she is doing fahisha mubayyina adultery secret uh, fr- uh, friendship with the other person or ha- or uh, blaming or abusing husband but that's not the case you can't force her to get out and women also should not walk out the out of the husband's home she should be there she has the right to be there la tadri la allah la allah yahdisu will wrong his own self you never know allah may there after bring about some new situation of reconciliation what allah says in the end of the ayah la tadri you know like you don't know like la allah perhaps allah allah yahdisu he will originates or make new bada after zalika amra of that matter you know talaq happened and you are staying there and after that husband may realize oh i did wrong and you know if you are in front of husband even though he is angry or upset he will see you and he will try to reconcile it what if you leave the home he won't reconcile and you know when you are out of uh, sight out of mind that kind of thing you know so you are out of sight and out of mind and people they put so much fuel in the fire because everybody shaitan is so active and shaitan remember he 
he loves when husband and wife get separated. You you remember that hadith when um, uh, everybody comes and say, this is the thing I did, this is the thing I did. But he appreciate only that person who separated husband and wife. So you should understand. And also whether is from your family or out of family in the community, never appreciate such thing. Let them give some time to reconcile with each other. Because Allah says that لا تدري لعل الله يحدث بعد ذلك أمرا Let's move. The wisdom of it the, at the husband's house. Allah said, you know not it may be that Allah will afterward bring some new thing to pass. Meaning, we command that divorced wife remain in her husband's house during the idda period so that the husband might regret his action. And Allah decides that the husband feel in his heart for the marriage to continue. This way returning to his wife will be easier for him. And as Suri said, uh, Fatima binti Qais said about Allah's statement, La tadri la Allah yahdisu ba'da zalik amra, you know not, it may be that Allah will afterward bring some new thing to pass. Taking her back, similar was said by Ashabi at a Qatada and a Tauri. So irrevocably divorced woman does not have a right to provision and accommodation from the husband. Irrevocable divorce. We have to remember this point. So here the view of the scholars of Salaf and those who follow them in that housing is not obligatory. In case of the irrevocable divorced woman, they also relied on the hadith of Fatima binti Khais. Uh, when her husband, Abu Amr bin Hafs, divorced her the third and final time, he was away from her in Yemen at that time. And he sent her his decision to divorce her. He also sent some barley with his messenger. But she did not like the amount or method of compensation. He said, by Allah, I am not obliged to spend upon you. So she went to Allah's Messenger وسلم, who said, Laisa laki alayhi nafaqatun. There is no obligation on him to spend on you. Muslim added in this narration, Wala sukna, nor housing. And he ordered her to finish her idda period in the house of Umm Sharik. He then said, she is a woman by companion visit. Spend this period in the house of Ibn Umm Maktoum, a blind uh, Sahabi. He cannot see. If you, uh, you like, uh, you can uh, spend there. Imam Ahmad collected his hadith in chain of narration. Messenger of Allah said, Look, O daughter of the family of Khais, spending and housing are required from the husband who can return to his wife. Okay, this is the thing. So if he does not have the right to return to her, then she does not have the right to spending and housing. So leave his house and go to so and so woman. You know, irrevocable divorce, she has to leave the house and she has to go. Uh, he then said, Innahu yahtasu ilayha. Then speak to her, therefore go to Ibn Umm Maktoum, for he is a blind man and cannot see you. Abu al-Qasim al-Tabrani recorded that the tribe of Quraysh, Fatima was married to Abu Amr bin Hafsa, Hafs bin al-Mughira from Bani Maqzum. She said, Abu Amr bin Hafsa sent me his decision to divorce me. While he was in an army that had gone to Yemen, I asked his friends to provide me with financial provision and housing. They said he did not send us anything for that, nor did he request it from us. I went to Allah's Messenger, وسلم, said to him, O oh Allah's Messenger, Abu Amr bin Hafs divorced me, and I asked his friend to provide me with the spending and housing. They said, that he did not send them anything for that. Allah's Messenger said, 
spending and housing are required from the husband okay for his divorce wife he if he can't return to her if she is not permitted from him anymore until she marries another husband then he does not have to provide her with the spending and housing so here we see only the husband has the right you can't ask husband's friend or anyone and nasai also recorded this narration so let's move to the, the next ayah fa iza balagna ajalahunna famsikuunna bil ma'ruf aw farihuhunna bi ma'ruf fa iza then when balagna the women reach ajalahunna the appointed time then when their waiting period ends either kept them honorably famsikuunna bi ma'ruf with the recognized manner aw farihuhunna bi ma'ruf or separated faraha separate them be maruf recognized manner part them with an honorable way fa ashiddu hun fa ashiddu and you take witness zu adlin zu possessor adlin justice it's from ain dalam minkum among you all fa aqimu you perfectly established shahadat allah witness of allah call to witness two honest persons among you and o witness bear shahadatillahi witness equitable zalikum yu azubihi man kana for the sake of allah this advice is being given to all who uh, advice to all who believe in allah yo yu minu billahi wal yawmil akhir so here believe in allah and the last day he fears allah وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا and he that fears allah may be provided way out by him so here see then when they are about to attend their term appointed either take them back in a good manner or part them in a good manner in the ayah number 2 we see only two options are there either you take her back or leave her and take as a witnesses two just person two witnesses two just persons from among you and establish the testimony for allah that will be an admonition given to him who believes in allah and the last day and whoever has taqwa of allah he will make a way for him to get out so allah is saying yajal lahu makhraja you know divorce happen and it happens and allah said allah will take out a way and then we see in ayah number 3 wa yarzuhu and uh, allah provides the it's from risk uh, provide sustenance to him min haythu from wherever la not yahtasib it reckons or assumes here in ayah 3 and gives sustenance from the sources he could never imagine and you might have heard like you know something happened like mishap happens and we do tawakkul ala allah and we say allah will give from those avenues which we don't even think of and here allah is saying that wa may tawakkal ala allah fa huwa al hasbuh and whoever he puts tawakkul put trust ala allah upon allah fa huwa hasbuh then he is sufficient for him so for allah is all sufficient for the person who put his trust in him will this thing happen and you trust on allah and allah will provide a way out inna allah baligu amrihi indeed allah baligu one who conveys balaga amrihi his command qad jaal allah li kulli shay'in in fact he made allah li kulli for all every shay'in things qadir a estimation surely allah brings about what he pleases and allah has set a measure for all things so let's see here i number 2 and 3 in detail ordaining kindness towards divorced women so allah the exalted says that when the woman who is in her idda near the end of idda term the husband must decide to reconcile with her thus keeping their marriage together in a good manner while being kind to her in their Uh, companionship otherwise he must decide to divorce her on good terms without abusing cursing or admonishing her 
to the contrary he should divorce her on good terms observing kindness and good manners that is a must in the aya number 2 the command to have witnesses for the re- re- return fa ashiddu zara and take as a witness two just person so adlin minkum zawa adlin minkum two just person from among you among your family or friends meaning when taking her back if this is your decision abu daud and ibn majah recorded that imran bin husain was asked about a man who divorced his wife and then had relationship with her without notifying you uh, because he already said three times divorce or one time doesn't matter it's a talaq talaq started and without even that notifying it he had the relationship with her after the period when he took her back imran said his divorce and taking her back was in in contradiction to the sunna in cooperate the presence of the witness for divorcing her and taking her back do not repeat your conduct ibn jurair said ata commented on the aya and take a witness two just persons from among you so when you when she when he is taking back her so two just person it is not permissible to marry divorce or take back the divorce wife except with the two just witnesses okay just as allah the exalted said except when there is a valid excuse allah statement zalikum yu azu bihi man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir what is that that will be an admonition given to him who believe in allah and the last day so if you believe in allah and last day so you should implement this means our command to you to have witness in such cases to establish the witnesses is implemented by those who believe and in allah and the last day this legislation is meant to benefit those who fear allah punishment in the hereafter and here we see allah provides suffice and makes way out of every hardship for those who have taqwa wa may yattaqillaha yajal lahu ah makhraja so here not only that wa yarzuqu min haythu la yahtasib and whoever has taqwa of allah he will make a way for him to get out and he will provide him from where he never could imagine isn't it allah can provide from where you can't even imagine that meaning whoever has the taqwa of allah in what he has commanded and avoids what he has forbidden then allah will make a way out for him from every difficulty and will provide uh, make a way out for him from every difficulty will provide for him from resources he never anticipated or thought about it ibn abi hatim recorded that abdullah bin mas'ud said the most comprehensive ayah in this quran is ان الله يامر بالعدل والاحسان this is in uh, surah number 16 ayah number 90 verily allah enjoins al adl justice and ihsan doing good the greatest ayah in the quran that contains relief is wa may yattaqillaha yaj'al lahu makhraja here whoever has taqwa of allah he will make a way for him to get out so here we have seen in surah at-talaq this is the thing talking about allah is yajal lahu makhraja in ayah number 2 surah at-talaq and who uh, it pertains to him when one knows that if allah will give and he will deprive man yahsu la yahtasib from where he never could imagine from resources he did not anticipate it qatada said whoever has taqwa of allah he will make a way for him to get out meaning from every doubt and the horrors experienced at the time of death yarzuqu may haythu la yahtasib and he will provide him from where he never could imagine from where he never thought or anticipated allah said wa may yatawakkal al allah fa huwa hasbu very beautiful aya and here say maybe like provide and allah gives sustenance from the sources he could never even imagine that and imam imam ahmad recorded 
that Ibn Abbas said, O oh boy, I will teach you the words, so learn them. Be mindful of Allah, He will protect you. What is it? Be mindful, Allah will protect you. Be mindful of Allah, He will be on your side. If you ask Allah, ask Allah. If you seek help, seek it from Allah. And know that if the uh, Ummah gather their strength to bring you benefit, they will never bring you benefit. You know, the whole Ummah gather and want to bring benefit, can't. Accept that which Allah has decreed for you. Know that if they gather their strength to harm you, they will never harm you. And accept with that which Allah has decreed against you. The pens have been raised and pages are dry. At-Tirmidhi collected and said, Verily, Allah will accomplish his purpose, meaning Allah will execute his decision and judgment that he made for him in whatever way he wills and chooses. Indeed, Allah has set a measure for all things. Qad jalallahu li kulli shayin qadra. This is like his saying, Wa kulli shayin indahu bimiqdarin. Everything with him is in due proportion. This is in Surah number 13, Ayah number 8. Let's move to Ayah number 4 and 5. Here we see those in menopause among you. Everybody can't be young, right? And everybody can't be old. So what about the people who have menopause and their period stopped? What they have to do? Those in menopause among your women, for them, the idda, if you have doubt, is three months. How many? Three months. And this will be, you know, lunar months. And for those who have no courses and for those who are pregnant, their idda is until they lay down their burden, means until they give birth to the child. And whoever has taqwa of Allah, he will make his matter easy for him. That is, and the ayah number 5, that is the command of Allah which he has sent down to you and whoever has taqwa of Allah, he will expiate from his sins and who will increase his reward. So, let's see from word to word and also the detail of it. So, we are going to do ayah number 4 and 5 now. Wallahi, those who, women, ya'is is from ya's, they lost hope. This is like completing losing hope. Min mahid of the period, you know, not having a menstrual period. Next, min nisa ikum of your woman in irtabtum, you all doubted for idda tuhunna, their idda. For what is the right here? You know, you should understand that. I'm going to explain in the tafsir. Salasatu, three ashur in months, wallahi, those women lam did not yahidna, they don't have monthly period now. Well, uh, this is the half of the name. First, understand this half thing. Like, what if some uh, women they uh, reach uh, like uh, menstrual period stopped? It's called menopause. But sometimes, even though they are young, because of some disease, they have irregular periods. What about them? Like, you know, they have. Once in three months, some people once in a year. What about them? How are they going to calculate it? So Allah made it easy. Said Salasu Ashurin. Three menstrual period. But here three lunar calendar months. Yes. Wallahi lam yahidna. They have monthly menstrual. But wa This is the one thing we understand about the, uh, the person who don't have period anymore or irregular or menopause and also here girls those who didn't get the period yet they got married so about them also three lunar calendar months but the next i uh, the half of it this and the next half it says wa ula to possessor woman ahmali it's from Hamal, burdens. What burdens we are talking about here? About pregnancy. Ajalahunna, their appointed time. And that, yadna, they give deliver. Means, they give birth. Hamalahunna, their burdens, carrying. So, you are talking about the pregnancy and now they gave birth. Wama yattaqillaha yaj'allahu. 
yattakhillah their rabb taqwa yajal lahu he makes lahu for him what he will min amri min from amri his affair matter yusra is so allah made the matter easy and not only that in the ayah number 5 we see zalika that amru is command allahi allah anzalahu he sent down ilaykum to you waman whoever yattaqilla adopt taqwa you kafir he expiates removes anhu from sayyati evil sins uh, then wa and yuzim consequently he will enlarge lahu for him ajran page so let's see the idda of those in menopause and those who do not have menses two things we have to remember one menopause and the other she didn't get the period yet what about them allah the exalted clarifies the waiting period of the woman in the menopause and that is the one who menstruating has stopped due to her old age or ailment or disease her idda is 3 months instead of three monthly uh, menstrual cycle which is based upon the ayah in this surah al baqarah ayah number 228 okay reference is given here so uh, because you know we have seen in surah al baqarah surah at talaq um, here it's given but in surah al baqarah we have seen detail already so here in ayah number 228 the same for the young who have not reached the years of menstruation then idda is 3 months like those in the menopause this is the meaning of his saying wallati lam yahidna as for those who have no pauses as for saying in atatum uh, here if you have doubt you know uh, as i mentioned before doubt in sense like you know every month you are not having a period and you are in a doubt whether you're going to have the period or not that's the thing we are talking about there are two op- opinions first is the saying of a group of salaf like mujahid uh, zuhri and ibn zaid this is if they see blood and there is doubt if it is was menstrual period or not the second is that if you do not know the ruling in this case then know that there it dies three months so this has been reported from said ibn chubair is the view preferred by ibn jarir and the more obvious meaning supporting this view is what is reported o oh allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam women are not mentioned in the quran the young the old and the pregnant allah the exalted and most honored send down this ayah wallati ya isna this one those in menopause among your women for them the idda if you have doubt three months lunar calendar and for those who have no courses for those who are pregnant their idda is until they give birth so ibn abi hatim recorded a simpler narration than one from ubay ibn kaab o oh allah's messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam when the ayah in surah al baqarah was revealed prescribing the idda of divorce some people in madina said there are still some women whose idda has not been mentioned in the quran there are the young all whose menstruation is discontinued and the pregnant later on the ayah was revealed this one wallati the surah al talaq ayah okay so those in menopause that one has been mentioned in the ayah number 4 and the idda of pregnant women allah statement wallatu ahmali ajaluhunna an yadana hamalahun and for those who are pregnant their idda is until they lay down their burdens mean until they give birth to a child allah says the pregnant woman if the ends when she give birth whether in the case of divorce or death of the husband according to the agreements of the majority of scholars of the salaf and later generation this is based upon the honorable ayah what is mentioned in the prophetic sunna al bukhari recorded that abu salama said a woman came to ibn abbas while abu huraira was sitting with him and said give me your verdict regarding the lady who delivered a baby 40 days after the death of her husband ibn abbas said her idda period last until the end of the longest among the two prescribed periods recited aulata ahmalu ajalahunna an yadina hamalahun for those who are pregnant their prescribed period is until they deliver their child 
Abu Huraira said, I agree with my cousin Abu Salama. Then Ibn Abbas sent his slave Qurayb to Umm Salama to ask her. She replied, the husband of Subay al-Aslami was killed while she was pregnant and she delivered a baby 40 days after his death. Then she received a marriage proposal and Allah's Messenger وسلم, married her to somebody. Abu Sanabin was one of those who proposed to her. Al-Bukhari collected this short form, form of the hadith which Muslim and other scholars uh, collected this. So here and also there is one more thing. Uh, to a child few days after the death of her husband when she finished the post delivery term she was proposed to so she sought the permission of Allah's messenger وسلم, and he permitted her so here she got married to him Mary so she got married Al-Bukhari collected this narration and did Muslim so here we see like uh, even though husband was dead and she delivered the child and after 40 days yeah, like uh, she got the proposal and she got married. So here we learn one more thing, like uh, it the for a uh, you know a person who is widow is not charged. Why? Because he gave divorce when she was having the baby in her tummy. So the idda of talaq was there till she give birth. If if he has reconciled, then she ha she might have done the thing for the, uh, you know, widow. But no, not that case. Here we see the case of the talaq, at talaq. So here the case of talaq, as soon as she, she delivers a baby, even though it was 40 days after uh, her husband's death, but she was allowed to take the um, proposal and get married. And Umar ibn Abdullah wrote to Ubaidullah bin Abdullah bin Utba informing her that Subaya told him that she had been married to Saad bin Qawala and he was one of those who participated in the battle of Badr. He died during the farewell pilgrimage while she was pregnant. Soon after his death, she gave birth when she passed the postnatal term she beautified herself for those who might propose to her abu sanabil uh, bin baka came to her and said why do i see you have beautified yourself do you wish to remarry by allah you cannot marry unless four months and ten days have passed subaya said when he said that i dressed myself in evening and went to allah's messenger وسلم, and asked him about his word, verdict he gave me a religious verdict that was i was allowed to marry after i had given birth to my child saying i could marry if i wish this is the narration that's what i was saying you know because he already gave divorce and that uh, divorce came into the uh, you know it was already there so as soon as she gave the birth so uh, she in the case of divorce the thing is she can't go for the widow thing because she is not a wife of that person anymore so that is the thing you have to understand the same thing everybody must be thinking so i was clearing that and whoever has taqwa of allah he will make his matter easy for him means allah will make his matter lenient for him and will soon bring forth relief and quick way out and this is the command of Allah which he has sent down to you. Meaning this is his commandment and the legislation that he sent down to you through his messenger. And whoever has taqwa of Allah, he will expiate from his sins and will increase his reward. Means Allah will prevent what he fears and multiply his reward even for the little good he does. So here we have seen uh, till ayah number 5. So quick re recap from the ayah number 1. In the ayah number 1 we have seen uh, directly Rasulullah has been addressed but also the ummah of Rasulullah Here see, O Prophet وسلم, when you divorce women, divorce them at their idda and count their idda and have taqwa of Allah 
and here only the exception they have to leave the home when they do fahisha otherwise they don't have to leave the home whether husband says talaq many times or one time doesn't matter she don't have to leave the uh, home this is uh, uh, one is revocable talaq and other is irrevocable uh, irrevocable like you know the person who says three times or and uh, drag you out of the home that is not a authentic narration not a stronger opinion but some of the people they agree to that and they uh, you know pull out of the home but this is the aya mentioned and allah uh, allah's rasul prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said not to give divorce in one go if you say thousand times also it will be considered as a one talaq and also we learn like um, tuhur is must a woman has to be in tahara in sense she has to go through the period and she should be clean and after that no relationship with the husband and wife if he wants to reconcile that's that's it then no divorce and also we learn like allah said whatever the things are going on allah will make a uh, way out and make the things easy and what about the people for about about the women who didn't get the period yet or the the women who already crossed the age of the period like uh, have the menopause or because of ailments they they are not uh, having period regularly once in a while they have so they have to spend three lunar months okay and also we learn allah says after having this separate it uh, and uh, there is no nothing wrong in having talaq because allah has uh, you know uh, reveal uh, one chapter on talaq because allah knows our intention allah knows the hardship it's not a easy thing to tala but you know it is allowed it's not appreciating it's not liked but it's not like you know one hates to have tala but what to do that's sometimes that's the only way out but allah make new ways allah only said in this surah allah will make new ways and allah will make the things easy and allah will give things from where you don't even expect so here we learn so many things and also about the pregnant woman until unless she give birth what if the husband dies widow she won't be widow anymore because already uh, talaq was there in it so uh, what if husband said no i'm going to take back then that time the widow things will apply on her but not that in that case we learn that she was not widow because her uh, talaq was already there as soon as she gave birth that's it jazakallah khairan kaseer subhanakallahu wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh